Tough game. Uh, uh, you know, three positives. One is uh, I love that we had 19 offensive rebounds. Part of it is we missed some shots, but we, I believe that's effort is rebounding. We had 19 offensive rebounds. Secondly, I like the fact that we only had 10 turnovers. That's back-to-back -back games. I'm doing a good job of taking care of the ball and valuing the ball. And I thought thoroughly we kept competing. We kept fighting to the end. Uh, now, on the other hand, we had that we had a bad scoring drought in that first half that really hurt us. Uh, in the start of the second half a little bit, uh, we had that scoring drought. The other thing is, uh, you know, they're just, you know, we did a great job guarding Pangos from three, but McClellan, who we try to play off of a little bit, hits a three, Dragonus hits a three, and, and uh, uh, McClellan hits a three, and, or uh, uh, Wesley hits a three, and then we were trying to foul throughout the game, you know, Kanowski and the guys at 51% three, free throw shooting ends up being 9 for 12. So that's just the flow of the game. They're a great team, Gonzaga, and um, um, but we got to get back to get back to home base, keep working, keep improving, and, and, and uh, keep getting better. What you think of the fouls in the first half? It's all been I'll, I'll just I'll I'll move to the next question so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> okay. Uh, they're bigs. Obviously, you guys were front and they were throwing. Oh, the top. Yeah, we we, we, gotcha made, we yeah got us a couple times, um, but two things. One, we made the adjustment the second half to go behind. I, you know, I believe in fronting, but what happened was we got worked up the lane, Jason, and and, and also um, um, I, I was concerned with you know just playing behind, giving up, just getting so deep buried. But that hurt us in the first half a little bit. We made the adjustment. The biggest thing though is we only had we only had 25 points. We weren't driving downhill like we did the second half. We were driving downhill. We played more reckless. Now we had the game was a little bit out of reach at the time, but we got to play that way from the beginning, and uh, that's where we got to get back in and just get back in the gym and get back to work. You got those numbers like the offensive rebounds and the turnovers. It seems like a lot of it would come down to your line not making shots. I mean, really, especially in that first half, those I mean, last five minutes. I mean, we just couldn't score. We know those scoring droughts. I mean, I told the guys if we get back in transition defense and value the ball, I mean, we did a great job for the most part of getting back in transition defense. Wilter hit a couple threes, but McClellan hit a three, Wesley hit a three, and Dragon hit a three. It just that hurts us. And then Karnowski hits nine and 12 from the free throw line. But the biggest thing is we went in that scoring drought again. We just, we struggle when we're in that scoring drought. And our best, obviously, it, we struggle because Austin struggled a little bit. So when he struggles, it makes it tough, a little bit tougher for us. And uh, um, and he's been Austin's been so good all year long. This was just one of those games where it just wasn't. A, it was just a tough game. Shaq had eight rebounds, I think, and he made a great I'm, energy play down on the floor. The same one that Crawford got three, but offensively, that that hurts us. So, so, so no, I mean, he, I thought he I thought he played hard. I thought he competed in battle. I thought he had great energy, Jason. But our starting four and five men combined were six for twenty-two, and. Um, you know, so that that hurts us. That's where you go back to make chess. But I'm I was happy to see Shaq fight, compete, which is we need to get him going because in the second half of conference race, we need Shaq to be at a high level. And uh, I really felt he, he he played at a high level energy wise, but he's got to he's got to be able to finish a little help us offensively too. You tried some triangle too in that second half. Three, we three ran triangle two in a couple of possessions in the second half. Correct. And we had, we made a miss, but we didn't. Two times we didn't get the rebound. Another time, you know, they end up scoring on us. That one, the triangle two is one when Wesley hits the three. What are you gonna do? But that, and that one's on me because you're you're letting him, you know. So. You go down big in an environment like that, but the guys just fall back. There. Yeah, you know, and like I said, I thought the 19 the 19 offensive rebounds is effort, and I felt the 10 turnovers was that's that's, that's for us to win games in the second half of the season in conference play. We have to do those two things: keep the turnovers low, and keep rebounding. But we're going to have to score, guys. I mean, Gonzaga leads the country in field goal percentage offense, but. It was our it was our offense that was really poor. And that's you know whether it was Gonzaga's defense or whatever. We this that has been an Achilles heel of us. We have gone long possessions of droughts, and um, that just makes it tough. Was the message to those guys? You got two games a week for the rest. Of yeah, the year? absolutely. You got two games a week, and, and hey, we got to get back and get back in the gym and get back working, and then we got to got to try to win on Wednesday, and then we got to try to get two zero weeks every week moving forward. This game make you better in the rest of the conference. I, I do, I do think, especially one with the environment, two with some things that we can clean up on. Um, but hey, I mean, the bottom line is, is Gonzaga is picked as a Final Four team, a potential national championship team. So we're, there's some, 
you know, at their home floor. It wasn't a neutral site. So there's, there's a lot of pauses we, we took from it. Um, we just got to make the next step. And I'm just telling you, it's the offensive drought says we've got to – We've got to find a way to not go through those stretches, and especially in road games. Those just kill you in those road games, going through those offensive droughts. And we've got five road games in conference play moving forward. We, ha we have to find ways not to get in those droughts. How tough of an atmosphere was that? I thought it was as good of a home court. I thought they were loud. I thought it was as good as home court. You know, it was comparable to what we faced with Stillwater in Oklahoma City.